Hello, I'm Delia Colon, and this is WEDU Arts Plus. Junior Polo is an artist and teacher in Tampa Bay who creates sculptures of mixed mediums. A portion of his commissions goes toward a nonprofit organization that serves underserved youth in his home country of Haiti. My name is Junior Polo. I'm a professional artist. I do some teaching and also get the communities involved in art activities. And I do a lot of public art also in the Tampa Bay area. Yeah, that painting you see here, right here, it's uh, about like a young lady, like when I was a kid, and I got a, a crush on her. Those flowers represent me and her, and then that dead branch, it's like people keep us away from each other, like to really like, to be able to see her, to say her things and stuff like that. That branch represents that. So this is your, your first painting? Yeah, this is my first painting. My, my work changed in the time. You know, when I was younger, like when I was kids, I loved cartoons. And uh, grow up, and I love landscape. And after that, what changed everything is when I start working with kids. And I see the way they work, and then my work changed totally. It's like the kids teach me how to be an artist. Lately, I fall in love with jazz. And now you can see most of my artwork is based on music. And sometimes I have friends come over, like who play jazz. Like they play live. And then I, I listen to the music and then get some inspiration sometimes. For example, this piece, it's like the same thing, it's a jazz player. And she ex he explained to me something and then play music, he created music, and I, I'm trying to create a, a piece for him, like based on his piece. Sometimes it's just people say something, and I heard what they said, and I said, oh, that's it, let's try something. And I can hear just a word from somebody. And we can just have a conversation and then you say something and I pick up something and I said that's a good idea, let me try to create something with that. My kids sometimes, they're funny, they say something and they say, Daddy, what about you do some, you do this, you do that. I said, that's, that's a good idea. And I, and, I use, and I use it too. My inspiration was from all, all over. I've been working with kids since I was 16 years old. And then since I moved here in 2010, and then we decide, I decided to create a business uh, working with kids. I don't think the COVID have any impact negative on me like the, for creating, but economically, yes, because we have an art business to Vero Polo where we teach people we all the be one on one with people, the stuff like that. We work with kids, but now, since COVID, everything go down. It's why I try to pick up a couple of classes online, and then um, try to do it online. But uh, most of the time, it's more interesting, you know, be face to face with people, talk to them. You know, it's uh, it's, it's difficult. Like economically, yes. It's, it's, it's changed things, but uh, not, uh, not that not affect my ability to, to, to make art, to make something amazing. If I'm doing a sculpture, it depends my environment. What I find in my environment, I use everything I find around me. For example, if I'm here, try to make something, create something, I will use everything in that room to create a piece of art. Usually, I, 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 I put everything together. Sometimes I don't know what will happen. Because it's difficult for me sometimes to do commission work. Because I prefer to be free, <laughs> you know, when I'm working. Sometimes when people ask me, oh, I want you to do something for me. I want you to do this, I want you to do that. That's, uh, that would probably be difficult. Because when I'm working, I want to be free and happy. If you like 
my work let me be free <laughs> um, you know on if you if you have a, a, a wall something like that let me let me be free and I did a big giant mural in clear water inside a building what I used I just used because it's a building they were renovated and then they were throwing everything out and all those uh, like trash things like pipe piece of wood and everything and I put them back together and I created a big giant piece with that and then people were so happy it's because of that people in Clearwater saw that mural and then the Clearwater Jazz Festival said man we need to keep that and then they choose me to do the to do the uh, the to be the poster artist for the Clearwater Jazz Festival in 2015 I born artist they already asked me when I was a kid oh, what you want to be when you grow up I would say, okay, I want to be an artist. But most of the time in my country, when you say you want to be an artist, people say, what? No way. I'll always be passionate about it since I was kids. And then now I live through art. You can find Junior's work at veropolo.com.